All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome to Real Classic Film Reviews and welcome to the part of the channel where we unbox and have a bit of a deep dive into a classic film release on physical media. As you can see, we've got uh, Blade Runner 1982's Ridley Scott sci-fi masterwork, uh, Blade Runner, the final cut starring Harrison Ford. This is from the relatively new uh, Warner Brothers, I think it's Warner Brothers Film Vault series. Uh, sorry about the glare there, it's going to be a bit glary until we manage to get this cellophane off. This is uh, spine number one of um, the Film Vault. Uh, these are kind of big premium releases of uh, Warner Brothers kind of um, back catalogue that they are releasing. There's a few others that we'll talk about in a couple of moments. This is obviously the first um, well, not the first, but one of the first four that are being released. And as um, I showed you there, it's spine number one. Um, so, yeah, first thing to note, I mean, it looks fantastic. First thing to note is the size of these things. And one thing I was kind of, I've always told myself is I'm steering away from these big fat box sets just for a room uh, space saving purposes really but if we get um actually incidentally another 1982 film of uh, et just there and you can see the size of the box in comparison to just a regular amory case likewise on the spine there um this is a you know these are big chunky releases uh, i'll put that to one side now um there's a bit of a glimpse of all the goodies that we get inside and each one of these film vault series have pretty much uh, identical um extras obviously exclusive to the film but for what you get i think it's very very similar uh, for what i've seen anyway so there's the spine and uh, the top and we'll slide this off as you can see uh this contains the kind of information there i'll just pull that to one side highlighting the uh artwork on the front which is excellent uh rugger Hauer there as roy um and some great kind of imagery from the film if we just take a little peek at the side that imagery kind of spreads around and then we get harrison ford on there as well and some imagery on there um so yeah this is the first one of four and i'll put the um image on the screen uh, so you can see the other ones as you can see i think we've got goodfellas scarface and uh, 1917 oddly enough which is a bit of a a more modern release which is quite an interesting addition to a film series called The Vault, um, but hey-ho, looks great, it's a great film. Um, so we'll crack this thing open and as you can see there's like a magnetic spine um, that opens up here and inside we have some kind of unicorn iconography which if you've seen the film you'll know how that ties in. Uh, Roy's famous quote there from the ending, brilliant, obviously the cityscape and then this looks like... Um, is it an envelope? The Tyrell Corporation envelope, again, with some more quotation from the film. We'll just plonk that to one side. Uh, right, yeah, so inside we have... That slipped to one side, that's interesting. So each one of these releases comes with this kind of glass... Um, paperweight type thing uh, with the film in it and then the, uh, the number there. So obviously I've got 2,638, is that, of 3,000 pieces? So that's quite cool, actually. That's quite a nice display piece. And I probably will actually display that. I probably won't keep that hiding in the box, um, which is, you know, what usually happens with a lot of the goodies that you get in these box sets. You kind of don't ever see them again. Um, actually, that's quite loose in there. That's quite interesting. There's nothing that stops that going down the side of there. Anyway, either way. Uh, and then the discs themselves, which is interesting, come in this kind of CD-sized fold-out packaging. Um, let me have a little look. Oh, so it slips off. Does it slip out? Yeah, so there's like a an outer case there and the discs inside. Um, oh, that's nice. The opening shot of the film there. And then opening it right up, the Tyrell Corporation building uh, and a couple of discs in there. Obviously one being the 4K disc and the other one being the Blu-ray disc. And then the, um, I think that's the opening kind of crawl of the film that kind of comes on the intro of the film uh, on there. So a lot of care and attention has been put into this. You know, every single part of it is kind of relevant to the film. There's uh, Rutger Hauer on the back there. Um, and then that slots back 
over. So I think extras wise, I don't think you're getting as, uh, in terms of the discs, you're probably just getting a re, um, re-release of what you've already seen. If you've already owned the Blu-ray, the final cut or the uh, 4K edition, you're probably not gonna get any more added extras on the disc. You're just getting it in this nice fancy box with this nice fancy paperweight. Um, as great as it is, you know, it's I'm, I'm I'm really happy kind of getting this in hand is a lot more impressive than, uh, you know, just looking at images. And obviously, you know, the requisite now envelope full of uh, stills and things like that. And again, as great as these are, these lobby cards, original artwork throughout, design, uh, concepts, uh, original artworks, um, storyboarding. And then I believe this looks like it falls out. So this is... Um, Harrison Ford's Deckard's ship, is it? Uh, the kind of technical schematics for that's quite an interesting piece. So, and then obviously it all folds back into this nice envelope. So yeah, the, the care and attention to detail throughout the whole thing is absolutely excellent. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's inside the uh, Scarface. What else did I say? Goodfellas and 1917 releases. And certainly looking forward to seeing what else they're going to bring out if these are in fact successful and uh, people are picking them up and then we kind of get a few more releases. That'll be interesting. That's a bit of a, a task to get back inside there. So let's have a little quick look at the back of the box and then we get to see some of the kind of tech specs on there. So limited to 3000 pieces, uh, new key art by Matt Ferguson and Flory from Vice Press. Uh, obviously the acetate o-ring that this is um eight collectible art cards clamshell box reproduction spinner vehicle design blueprint as we just saw and the feature film on both 4k and blu-ray with obviously special features that you'll have seen if you already own this um movie uh, which i think i do yeah so um you'll probably get you know all of the special features that are on the um you know the commentaries and everything that are on the on the original 4k disc and Blu-ray releases so yeah this is the uh I think it's a is it a sp specific to Warner Brothers it has to be doesn't it yeah the Warner Brothers Film Vault um series relatively newly released and this is as you can see spine number one so that all folds back into there so yeah obviously one thing to be um mindful of is the size of these things they are chunky and they're going to take up a bit of space on your shelf so if you are you know pressed for space as I am as we all are <laughs> I'm assuming um, then yeah, they are going to take up a bit of space, obviously because they are, uh, you know, bigger releases. So you're gonna to have to find a home for them, especially if they're going to keep wheeling these things out. Obviously, like I said, there's there's four so far, um, so a bit of space might be needed to be cleared. But yeah, that's Blade Runner: The Final Cut from Warner Brothers Film Vault series, spy number one. Really, really nice release. A lot, a lot of care attention's gone into that. So if you're a big film fan, a fan of these, of each specific film, they're definitely worth picking up. Um, so yeah, appreciate you watching, guys. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.